Hello dear viewers. Today I would like to show you something interesting I came up with um, within the context of my exam preparation. I had the idea of using Minecraft as a flowchart system. And the idea is the following. I'm revising uh, skepticism, Descartes' skeptical hypothesis about reality and knowledge and dreams and whatnot. And um, I structured the argument the following way. Each house on this Minecraft world is a fragment of an argument. Let's just view them from nearby. Remove this cinematic thing. And also add some thunderstorm. Um, essentially, every house has a statement. Excuse me, my jerky movements, but that's how I roll. Um, each house has a statement, so for example, let's run with this one. We start with the Cartesian argument, and it says, All my beliefs about the world are based upon sense experience. And here I can enter doors, and doors represent choices. So if I go through this, this door, I accept. Let's accept this. Now I have the next part of the argument that logically follows. All my beliefs about the world presuppose that my sense experience is a reliable guide to the nature of reality. Let's accept that too. Doors, doors, doors. And here we discover, hey, I have a choice to accept or reject. The choice are limited to me having actually included uh, anything. So you can add choices everywhere. So at this place, at the question whether the, the principle that my sense experience is a reliable guide to the nature of reality stands in need, in justif uh, in need of justification, um, this question you can either, well, this statement you can either accept or reject. Let's reject. And if you reject, you kind of switch paths because you see uh, each house row essentially kind of line that goes from one direction to the other essentially means a complete line of argument. So if I follow this to the end I will reach the conclusion of the skeptical argument. And it's nice because in a way you kind of you kind of uh, walk through someone else's thoughts and can contemplate them. So for example if I'm here and I think wait a minute, I don't really accept this at all. I don't even want to decide whether I uh, accept the further reasoning or reject this particular argument. I don't even know how I got here. So I can go back and rethink my position. Um, but, but let's actually say that I reject this. Then I can see, hey, there is another dude has, who has rejected this, uh, namely Pryor. Uh, with his dogmatism about perceptual justification. And you can follow his train of thought, or line of houses, if you will. And let's go to the roof. Let's just quickly go to the roof and look at the things. As you can see, you have a lot of lines of arguments. Some intersect, some, some loop, actually, um, some fork. But essentially, you will at some point, unless you actually choose the loop, uh, arrive at a conclusion. And this conclusion will then provide you an answer. So in a way, it's a, it's a fully functional working flowchart. And uh, now some technical, somewhat technical details. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, of course you will be able to download the flowchart. I will, I'm not going to show you everything because that's far too much and you actually have to think for quite a while, I would say, in each house because those are the bare arguments. This is exam preparation, so it's kind of stripped down to the bare minimum that you can imagine. Ah, oh, it's dark now. Wait, let me make it light. This isn't light? Oh, this is light. Let's actually stop the rain. Start everything. It's nice again. So yeah, um, the technical bits. I built this in MC Edit. Uh, first I built a model house, uh, which I designed to be ha, modular, 
which essentially means that you can stack it both vertically and horizontally, um, which essentially means that you can build your own arguments Lego style. You just need to know where you're going and what you're thinking, and from then, then there on you can just build things. Um, my idea is essentially that I upload this concept and that people use it for something else, or just the bare idea, because really it helps, it's, it's quite useful. So anyway, I would be quite glad if you could give feedback, some tips, advice, maybe you could actually go in here and correct things or add things, maybe someone else's argument, maybe Wittgenstein, this doesn't have Wittgenstein, this only has Williamson, Putnam, Pryor, Moore and Descartes. Um, but other than that, that's it from me. Um, I guess you have to say subscribe or something at this point. So yeah, subscribe and maybe they'll, I'll upload other videos. See ya and thanks for watching.